Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, uh, session 32, part 2. It is the 4th of January 2020. Fuck, that's weird to say. Uh, here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Lord Eric Greenwood, the human sorcerer. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, half of Druid. Hi, I'm a Scott. I play a Crumbar, who is a paladin of the. Yeah. The yellowish order. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I, I was gonna say it was a half paladin for some reason. Oh, no. <laughs> Only half. Um, hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. And hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach a half elf monk. Perfect. Right. So we focus back in on the camp. Right. So. Reach and Arya, you just get back to the camp. Um, the obviously the people there are like absolutely panicked um, and very relieved to see you. The mm -hmm. ones that are awake, like more people are awake now. Um, just out of fear, obviously they're trying to let the kids sleep as long as possible. But yeah, so what do you do? They'll be like. Obviously, waiting for for us and everything. So I think I'll just be like, "It's fine. We're we're back." Um, I'll just see if anybody needs anything. But yeah, and mostly it's just panicked people, to, like, right? It's sit mostly my butt down and I'll break. What? <laughs> I'm saying if nobody proper needs me, I'll I'd be sitting on my butt yeah. and like. No, mostly it's people. Break. <laughs> slightly relieved but still panicked at like what the hell's going on why is there like loads of thunderous noises right like what's are we still in danger basically oh no no of... you're not that was just um one of our friends leaving they don't need more details than that and then uh, they all kind of look <laughs> non relieved right they're they're still not convinced <laughs> they're still uh, worried and whatnot um, what's the plan for being back at the camp then, right? So you've got a bunch of like worried people, some of which are trying to keep it quiet for uh, the ones still sleeping. I would just do the usual, you know, try to calm them down. We're here, it's fine, it'll be fine, we'll, uh, you know, we're all rest and catch our strength and then head to, I think it was the nearest town or city we're planning to, planning to drop them all off at. <laughs> But just the idea of like, yeah, we just we just need to rest now as well and regain our forces. And I'll just essentially whenever I have the first chance, I would sit down and use yeah. some of the the dice and get some health back. But oh well. Yeah, now we can talk about that. What about reach? What's reach doing at the camp as well? Come on, just walk around see if anybody needs anything. That's just real. Really, just be mostly it's reassurance, right? Like that's it, really. Yeah. It's so. mostly just they're happy to see slightly familiar people again um, after the, the kind of chaos people are just a wee bit panicked um, but yeah that's pretty much it, you've still got all the the loot in a pile in the middle um, people have obviously been assigned tents and whatnot, people are rotating out but more people obviously as I said are awake um, given how much noise has been rumbling and they've tried to put kids back to sleep and stuff like that so yeah it's just a very alert camp at the moment uh, but yeah, if there's nothing specific happening at the scene, uh, you can start taking a short rest if you wanted, um, and I can zoom over to the uh, yeah. the others. Now, Crumbar, mm -hmm. give me a athletics and a perception. perception. Yeah, the usual. Cool. Yep. So it takes you a bit of time, right? Maybe an hour, maybe a bit more. Um, but you'll be able to get the horses. Um, yeah. What? What? Sorry. It'll take you about an hour, but you'll eventually mm -hmm. track down the horses. Um, even to the point where maybe you find a couple, but some have came loose, and you have to go, like, yeah, searching for and whatnot. Obviously, that some have been more startled than others. So, yeah. All in all, it takes you about an hour to start like heading back, so you're probably about an hour away before you get back to camp if you're heading straight there. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
But while all that's going on, Kitty, I think you're climbing back up the estate, heading towards the source of all the thunder and lightning. Yeah. Yeah, so you just get like... By the time you get back there, Eric's probably not casting spells anymore unless he's going through cantrips at this point. Um, <laughs> no, he's on his hands and knees. Yeah. Looking at the floor. And that's kind of what you so like that come up against. Approach you. with caution. Yeah. Roll maybe caution. I've got a, <laughs> <laughs> like I maybe have a, a weapon drawn kind of thing. Yeah, like expecting makes to sense. see someone. And then it's I just see him on the floor and I sort of rush over like, "Are you okay? What's wrong?" Just nothing but muttering. Thought you was being attacked. I kind of turned my face to look at her, and there's just tears rolling down his, uh, down my eyes, face. I'm like very hesitant because you know, ew, emotions. <laughs> but I sort of, <laughs> I just wrap my arms around him and sort of awkwardly hug, pat pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just literally what I'd be like. It's like, oh god, how to deal with this? Oh, uh, hug. That's what humans do, right? <laughs> <laughs> And how does Eric like respond to the kind of you know kindness of a stranger type vibe? He's just like letting it happen. He's probably just too exhausted to like push me off. Yeah, and like like what happens? Like obviously he's just sat there for a bit, and time passes. Like he's just sat quiet for the first ten minutes, or yeah, I just sort of let him get it out, I guess. Yeah, so is this the part where like, Eric then breaks down, or does he like maybe get a hold of himself? Like, how does that go? Um, there isn't much for him to say because is there's a lot flying through his head. He he wouldn't know what to say. Um, but he's very much feeling like he's failed. Because he just kind of like yeeted his uh, house out the city. Mm -hmm. Yeet. Like, what, what's his family meant to do now? Like, he's meant to protect them. And all he did is just take the house away. Essentially made them homeless. <laughs> just means Technically, they've got a nice comfy crater to live in at the moment. <laughs> it's a country estate now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we've upgraded. Not a city estate, a country estate. <laughs> Um. Yeah, reigning the estate on the woods is maybe now what it's called. Um. But yeah, so like, how long does Eric kind of sit moping in like her, like embrace before he kind of gets up? Or does Kitty need to help him up? He's a bit lost at this point. We'll we'll leave it like ten minutes and then I'll just sort of do the. The thing where you sort of rub them on the back, pat pat, and then sort of lean them away from you, so you sort of see that what state they're in. Like, shall we go back to camp where it's warm? <laughs> yeah. Okay, help him up. <laughs> and how's Eric responding to all this? Just give a nod. Yeah, just kind of like autopilot your way with her. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So you just can start heading back to camp. Um. Yeah, do you discuss anything on the way back? Like, does conversation finally spur up as you're heading back, or...? No, I'd probably just be like, watch that route there. Oh, there's a rock there. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's dark. He does, ha <laughs> he, he does have dark vision, though, but yeah. Because he can see what? the dark just now. He cast dark, he dark He cast dark vision as a spell earlier. Oh, how long does that last? Eight hours. Oh, okay. So you're still maybe good. Not. Oh, maybe yeah. it's just like a habit. Yeah, it, it makes sense that you'd still do it, right? And he's probably still just absent-mindedly accepting it, unless he's actively responding. No. Complete autopilot mode at this point. Yeah. Like a kid that's been told to behave at a, a, a shopping mall, even though he's holding his uh, hammer and got his cape on. More well, like a man who <laughs> believes he's just lost everything. <laughs> it's the same thing, right? Kid's been told off. Ego shattered. Yeah. But now I get you. <laughs> So the you start to head back. I think as well, um you will probably get back to the camp before Crumbar gets back with the horses, probably. Yeah. As well. 
So yeah, you just head back to camp and it's mostly just people shuffling around. It looks busier than it did before because obviously less people are sleeping now. What's the plan? I'll go dump Eric at the uh, the fireplace. There you go, warm yourself up. We're just going to spear head, into the fire. Pat. Yeah. <laughs> just head pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Cool. Now is this the one with the paladin or is this the the other one at the top? It, it'll be the one with the paladin slumped over. Yeah. Unless he's awake now. Are you saying vision? Oh my life. Yeah. I saw her. Get that filth out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that liar. I mean, I don't know if she ever lied, but um, okay. There's a liar. It's a Draco, don't worry about it. Um, the Draco is wonderful. Uh, right, so you can settle in. And now she's a filthy dro- oh, wait. Yeah, it's up to you if you want to sit and take a short rest, or if you want to wait and try and take a long rest. What's the plan for the folk at the camp just well, now? Well, I want a long rest, but oh well. Depends on what the others want to do. I'd prefer a long rest, because I have 5 HP. Yeah. Remember, short rest, you can get HP back by spending hit dice as well. It just depends if you say... Yeah, but I bring my spells back too. Yeah. I need to do a double long rest, so when I'm getting back, long rest then too, fuck. Yeah, because your first long rest won't count. There's see. another reason why I want a long rest, because I can, like, top your health up. Yeah, so Eric goes and sits next to the bottom one, was it, you said you put him near? Okay. Yeah. Cool, so I think you'd, you'd maybe go sit with him down there. Are you top or bottom for the uh, campsites, the, the fireplaces and such? The fireplaces, the fire <laughs> campfires. I'll stay here with the people so that they feel protected instead of, you know, all of us. Yeah, and I imagine going. maybe reaches down there then, if you split up then. Um, you're probably at the bottom one. Hmm. That makes sense, these are trying to like... Keep everyday looking, you know. Yeah. Reasonable. Yeah. So, anything happening at camp before Crumbar gets back with the, the horses? <laughs> okay. Someone's vapes broke. <laughs> I thought Ario was just trying to speak infernal. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, I've noticed. I don't know, so I was trying to imitate the noise. That's okay. Well, that's fine. Let me just make a bunch of these. Two seconds, guys. And then wait to see if they. There we go. That works. Uh, right, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Let's try to count what we had uh, in terms of horses. Oh, they are mighty huge. Commerce just leading them back. He's like. Chain them together with their reins. Hmm. This way now, horse. <laughs> yeah. So, you head back uh, to the camp. Obviously, there's a bit of panic, right? Um. Some of the the women that are kind of guarding the the gates and wandering aimlessly and holding swords by their handles with the swords pointing down. Yeah, and stuff like that. everyone's a racist. Yeah. Um, well, they just see a. A shape coming out of the dark that looks like an orc, so it's not exactly what they want to see. Um, and they they shout towards everybody else like, "Oh no! Like they're they're coming back!" Panicked and worried. What does everybody do? Sat there staring at the fire. Mm. I'll obviously go and bear. have a look and I'll check it out. Yeah, Should so you just two heads over, and yeah, it's like it's just Crumbar. Let's face it, it's Crumbar with a bunch of horses. Yay, it's okay, it's the friendly orc. Crumbar, the friendly orc. 
Until he comes and eats your soul. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, but yeah. So and yeah. here was thinking until he gets possessed, but oh well, you made it even worse. So yeah. <laughs> Where do you want to put these horses, Cumber? Um. Maybe so in I'm I'm gonna just move my token in just so I can actually see. Yeah. Maybe yeah. in the little fence. Just. Yeah. Oh. Fence, yeah. I think. That that would be a good idea putting them there so that they can't run away. Okay. I mean, we can close the gates. We didn't break them. Open. Oh yeah, sure. We didn't cl we didn't break the gates, did we? The main mm -hmm. gates aren't broken. This pen would at least sequester them away, but there is yeah. like there's no like you broke the lock to this, but you could probably just jam it shut. Yeah, yeah we've got like could... we've got rope and stuff around the gaff. I just I just feel <laughs> bad because we put them in a place that's likely to have a lot of like you know urine and feces and and dead people. Not yeah. a nice place for horses, but yeah. maybe we can say that we cleaned up a little bit before putting them there. Um, maybe. obviously, I'm still aware that the camp aren't too chuffed by my presence. So I think Crumbar is going to go into this bunch of barrels here and just have a wee okay. nap, sleep. Yeah, basically just be like, kind of like, I don't want to stir any trouble, so I'm just yeah. going to go go here, make a bed out of barrels and cool. sleep away. Who's taking watch first then? Me, I guess. Cool. And he'll be second. I can be second. Yeah. So, rotate through the watching, and yeah, can reach roll me perception? Perception. Cool. Who's last on watch? Who's probably the worst? Because um, I doubt Eric's taking watch, quite frankly. I'll take last watch. Cool. Do you want to give me a perception as well? Cool. Damn. Perfect. Yeah, like there's nothing. These are perfectly isolated, given the fact that, you know, even that if there had been survivors and they wandered this way, you maybe would have come across them as well, right? So, considering there's a lot of light this way from you guys in the camp. Um, but yeah, you can all get the benefits of a long rest that isn't crumber. Did I get anything back? No. Nope. It's fine, I'll be using healing spells on you today, it's fine. If you get anything back on a short rest, you can mm -hmm. get it back, but it would say on the abilities that you have, long or short rest. No, I'm just gonna just gonna power through two long rests. Cool. Um But yeah, so it's like I don't know, probably afternoon given how late your night's been. So it's probably like early <laughs> Maybe about eleven or twelve again, right? Next day, maybe, maybe eleven-ish. Um, what's the plan? Because you've got forty-five people, an unconscious paladin still. Still unconscious. Six horses. Yeah. Yep. Six Remember, horses. we've 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 got uh, the two carts there. So plan is basically hook up some horses to the carts, mm -hmm. and uh, oh wait, divvy up the loot as well. Um, Horses to carts, every up loot, and they uh, get everyone back to. Was it Glitterhaven where we were going to yeah. take them to? Yeah. Mm. Cool. So, uh, obviously, 45 people can't fit on those carts, right? So, there's going to need to be rotation. Yeah. Obviously. Conch pull it, then conscious ones stay on the cart, though. Mm. Well, how many horses does it take to pull a cart? So must have been you'll, be you'll, probably want, you'll probably want two to each minimum. Two to each, so that yeah. gives us two horses left, which means what we could do, right, is two people go on the other two spare horses with the cart back to Glitterhagen, and the other, like, and the three stay and watch the camp. One just do like. <laughs> several weeks of travelling. Yeah, we don't need anybody staying at the camp. We'll just take everyone. But we'll yeah, just, just do a caravan, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just do a caravan and just have some folk walking, some folk in the thing. It's probably mostly going to be kids, let's face it, on the... or the elderly and rotating people out, right? So, mm. 
Um, you're going to need to pack up all the tents and shit if you want some kind of cover for people as you go. Mm-hmm. So yeah, sounds, sounds about right. Yep. Um, get at it, lads. I'm KO'd. <laughs> supplies. No, you've been woke up as well, right? You're up. Um, Who woke me from my slumber? So yeah. Stick with us, Edry. Stick with us. And, uh, <laughs> so, carts are loaded up full of well. the loot, supplies, yep, yep. and there's little room for people now, right? But you can jam the kids in there as well. Um, what's left? So pretty much all the adults will be walking. Um, and if you right. want to start like rotating the elderly out, you can get kids out of there and put elders on and whatnot, right? Yeah. So you can, you can manage that. What are you doing with the Golden Order guy? Is he alive? Yeah, he's better now. I, like, I was is he healing conscious? Him and he, nope. I healed him a little bit, and then he would have had a good night's sleep, so yeah. I think he'd be fine by now. No, as he, he has not woke up. Mm. As I said. Oh, well, he's going to have to go in the cart then. Yeah. Yep. yep. Cool. Can I, like, have a look at him? I mean... Like, See what's wrong with him. So do you mean do you want to use Maybe medicine or bit. something, or to try and assess what's? Can I try medicine. I'm quite good yeah. at medicine. Yeah, I mean, I could help you with that if you want. That would be handy. Yeah. Let's have a go then. If you still want to spend time doing that. Yeah. Cool. Quite good at medicine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You see all the black veins creeping up his neck. Right. Being poisoned of some you sort. open up his eyes they're starting to go like they're all like bloodshot red but it's you know the pupils are like sorry the iris sorry is changing it's like fading oh it sounds like he's got that corruption that the other arcs had yeah any chance i could try and make some medicine for him a herbal kit uh you have proficiency in a herbalism kit i believe right yes yeah. do you have a herbalism kit I do, yeah. Three uses, I must wait for three, but yeah, I've got a herbal kit. Yeah, if you've got that, yeah, you can totally try something, right? But, like, you don't know anything about the cause of it, if that makes sense, right? You can, yeah. your your medicine check's good enough to know that it isn't natural, right? Yeah. Um, But yeah, if you've got, like, a herbalism kit and stuff like that, yeah, you can totally give that a go. You can try and make something to at least, I don't know, Make them comfortable, right? Uh, what would you use intelligence or wisdom? Because when I click on it, it says, uh, "What's medicine based on?" Probably wisdom, actually, to be honest, right? Because it's you're trying your best guess as to what yeah. you don't know how to fix Medicine's it. Medicine's wisdom as well. So, so yeah, yeah I'd say That's wisdom. So. Cool. Yep. So you spend time going through the supplies, maybe going a wander into the woods to find some things. And yeah, you you put something together. Mm. How good it is, don't know. But yeah, we like him a, we give them a yeah. The thing is, like you're you're not even sure if it's going to make a difference, right? That's the level of confidence yeah. you have based on your medicine check and what you've managed to put together. But you're like, it's the best I can do. Yeah, yeah. and it's better than doing nothing, right? Yep. So yeah, you can feed that to me, Sean. I do that. Feed that to him. Yep. Uh, I, yeah. Nothing else. Anything else you want to do at camp? But, uh, as a group? What, sorry? Anything else you want to do at camp as a group before we start and dead off to Glitterhagen? Because you could always have one person on a horse scouting ahead, um, since you've got two spare horses. So somebody could scout ahead and, like, you know. Make sure the the route is safe for the big convoy of people that's going to be walking behind, and then somebody at the back with a horse. Actually, Arya or Trailblazer would be good for that. Yeah, scout. Yeah, I could do that. Also, um, before we go properly, one second. Um, there's something I do want to do. Okay. Do you want to tell me what that is, or? I want to like secret. heal Crumbar a fair bit. Yeah. Just in case we find something nasty on the way. I mean, Crumbar could heal himself with hit dice. He just hasn't. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Oh, could have? 
Yeah, it's good short rest. That's a short rest one. Dan, I thought I could only use them on short rests. Yeah, but you've you, had a short rest. Yeah, you've had eight short rests, really, because you've you've done a full rest, which is eight hours, but you can right. benefit from a long rest, so you've had eight short rests. Right. Damn. Uh, oh well. Um, never mind. Then. Yeah, you can okay. still do it. You could. Oh right, do you mean? Um, so open your character sheet. And just click the hit die, yeah? Yeah. Hit die. Right, so you've used Plus one. 10. So add 10. Do you want to spin another one? Uh, yes, I will, because hopefully I can get another 10. Eight, so that's 29. How many can I use? All of them, if you want. You get half back on a long rest. Half my total back? Yes. Half your head takes total back. Yeah. Is it rounded down? Yes, everything is. Yeah, yep. no yeah I'll use another one then. Uh, that is math I can't do just now because I'm far Remember, too you tired. can literally t type in two. 25, anyway. So, you've got 29, right? You yeah. can click in the red circle on your token, right? Oh, yeah, my token's and there. Just hit plus seven and press enter. Hey, yep, cool. That's cool. fine. Hey, to be honest, if you've got five and you've spent three, you may as well spend another one. Because you're only getting, what, two back anyway? Right? One back? You're only what, getting one so back. So, you've spent three. On a long rest, you'll get one back. Oh, I thought it was half my total, so I'd get two back. Let me have a look it up. I'll just double check that now before we make a decision, because it's probably worth knowing. Recovery. Let's have a look. If anybody else gets the answer quicker than me, good. Let's find that out. Hit dice. And recovery. Actions in combat. Recovery. Healing. Hit dice. For me, it would have been a full night's sleep, right? Yes, it would. Be so indeed. I could have changed my spells, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, cool. Yep, yep. Most definitely. Anybody find this answer yet? Nope. So, waiting on you. I mean, every day has a Google, right? So it doesn't always need to be me. I'm just quickly scanning this to see if I can find the the rule. At day five. -y. Up to a character's total number of them. Right, okay. So it's going to be two back regardless. Um, yeah. So I, mean, I thought it was the ones you'd, you could spend it, so... Yeah, I'm, I've got enough health to keep us going anyway. That's yeah, that's fine. fine. Cool. Um, right, see, during this travel... I mean, I mean, I'm guessing this is us now tra on our travels. Don't know yet. Has everybody done at camp? Very nearly, but yeah, we're not quite there yet. <laughs> right, okay, so then no, we're not like, travelling yet, Crumble. Okay, right, okay, sorry. We'll, right. we'll be travelling when you're finished doing this, I assume. Oh. What about loot? <laughs> oh yeah, loot! That's all piled in there. I think we'll deal with that at Glitterhagen when we're giving it back to them, kind of thing. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So let me go down the line then. Eric, anything at camp you want to do? I want to divide a loot up. Well, I want to as a player. I mean, but, what, what does Eric do? <laughs> Moop about the place. Cool. So, not at all talking about loot then? Nothing. <laughs> cool. Yeah, he's doing nothing. Okay, cool. Um, Arya, anything you're doing at camp before you just leave? I put it into chat to figure out how to actually do it. I'm just swapping some of my spells, basically. No worries. Again, remember, just add, don't delete, and then we'll repip with the red ticks. And that's sure. the ones you've got yeah, prepared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes a lot more sense, yes. Cool. Um, but yeah, that makes sense. Cool. So that's what you've changed it into. Good, good. That uh, makes perfect sense as well for your travelling plans. And right, Crumbar, before we're leaving, anything else besides spending those hit dice? No, I'm not spending anything else. Yeah. So at any point, people can spend their hit dice as long as they take a short rest. That's a thing people can do as a way of healing between like days of drama, essentially. Um, and you're good there. Do you get anything else back as a paladin on a short rest? 
Uh, as a sh on a short rest? No, not that I know of. You probably do. You probably should read through your abilities and work that out. But you probably do. Because people get stuff back on short rests. Right, let's have a wee look. But it would say. Um, oh, right, okay, I'm just looking through the... Right, I'll just... I'll look through my skills. Yeah, so you do that in the background. Um, we can deal with that, because that would have happened before you left anyway. Your channel divinity again, so yeah, there is something about it. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff you'd get back as a paladin. Um, I just don't right. know what it is, because most classes get something on a short rest. Um, but obviously, we don't do them that often, so... But they, they can come mm -hmm. up, obviously. Um, right. Kitty, anything before we leave camp? No. Cool. Reach. Okay. Mm, no. I presume we're taking the loot with us. But Everything's piled in. Like, like supplies, loot, and tents and shit like that are all in the carts along with a bunch of kids. Yeah, nothing else. No. Yeah, and you've strapped, like, as a four horses between the two carts. See the paladin. Can we tie him? Huh? I can't find anything with the uh, so short rest. divinity. You get your channel divinity, by the way. So that is. Uh, what is that? What is your channel divinity? Let's have a look. So. Where are we looking? So that's the effect that of it. You need to go look at your paladin cheat sheet. Yeah, I'm just oath. gonna load up the one on. Right. Oath spells, you get them back. Oath spells, whatever. Yeah, which would be my. Room. So, yeah, go to the player's handbook and learn what you get back as a, as a player, as a paladin, even as a player. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. And that will help. Yeah, all that stuff is available via roll. Roll twenty as well, if need be. You can just type in being a paladin or paladin build or something, and it'll come up with paladin info for you. Mm, right. Yeah, is but it just... as you, you can deal with that though. I right reach. Anything else in the camp? Uh, nothing. Else. No, I'm ready. Got you were asking about the the paladin. Sorry. Uh, oh yeah, tie the paladin down in the cart. Tie him down. Do you so mean... it doesn't jostle about. <laughs> yeah, I, or right. bind. Hog, hog tie him, anything. The paladin is <laughs> from the black death, can you say? Okay, so you want to like bind him up? Yeah, bind him up. Yeah. I've got rope. Uh. Cool. I mean, sure. I don't think you need to roll for that. You could just say you've tied him up. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Sure. Uh, and you can dump him in. So, <laughs> are you trying to put him in with like the kids or the supplies more? Supplies more. Okay, cool. I'm also a wee bit worried about him. Aha, uh -huh. understandable. Because um, whatever's going on with him ain't natural, and he should have woke up by now. And like Adri, or sorry, Arya has healed him, right? With healing word. Not that necessarily you know that, but yeah, it might have come up in conversation. So, yeah. Cool, if that's the case, then the, the convoy starts. And you start heading back towards uh, Glarahagen. I think we'll take some. Time to do some survival checks. So does our scout want to give us a survival check then? That'd be Arya. Yeah, one sec. I was in uh, reading the bits. Okay. <laughs> oh. <-ho. laughs> Wow. Yep. That a was a bad. Just means it's going to take a long time to get back. Did forget about your dice rolling today, by the way, before I <laughs> thought of this. Oh, goodness, yeah. Normally she's quite good at things that aren't combat, though. Um, yeah. Which reminds me, my luck points are back at three. Yes, yes, they are. So you could, always, <laughs> you could spend that if you wanted. It might be better than... I'll use one, yeah. yeah There's a good chance you'll roll better than so that. So type in luck, spent, and then... So we can checkpoint it. We all live good. <laughs> yep, that's good enough to worry. And uh, yeah, so a fourteen is better to not get totally lost. Yeah. Um, 
Still trying to look through. Even Eric's going, hold on a minute, was it not that way? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So your healing hands come back on a long rest, not a short rest, right? I can see that much. Your lay on hand, sorry. Then you've got. Your divine sense comes back only on a long rest as well. Then. Spell casting. You get. Long rest only. Spell casting only comes back. Expanded spell slots on a long rest. And what else? Spell casting. Divine smite. When do you get those back? Those are just spell slots you need to spend for those, so those will be long rest as well. Sacred oath. It's a channel divinity, so let's look at channel divinity. So you get channel divinity back at a short rest. So you get the uses of that back. And I think that's everything you get at this point. So it is just Child of Divinity, yeah. Okay, Scott? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that already. Cool, good, we're up to date. Uh, yeah, so it takes a while, supplies get quite thin in places. Um, you have to make camp, obviously, a whole bunch of times, right? Um, people complain, etc. See where we're doing this. So I can put my luck back at three if we're travelling over multiple days. Yeah. Ryan, see where we're doing this. Could I be getting attuned with that axe? Yeah, if you want to, yeah. Yes, please. Yep. And we'll probably have conversations by, you know, when we make camp by the fire of, like, crackle, crackle. Just like yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Like, between, you know, while traveling, we could be, I'd be, like, attuning up to an axe. So you want to speak infernal around a bunch of shaky people? Yeah. Not around them, but I mean, me and her can have our own quiet conversations. So and come crackle. just sleep in a tent off to the side. <laughs> I, well, to be honest, I think I would be anyway. Yeah. Um, just because, I, I, you know, like we, these folk are nervous. Maybe even like when we're traveling, I'd be trail trailing behind. I would assume you'd have been the one at the back, yeah. Um, yeah. And having her at the front, and everybody else is kind of like walking with the the group. Um, probably leading the horses from the the fronts of the carriages, right? Maybe yeah. reaches on the single carriage and then Kitty and Eric are on the, the double carriage. Uh, so let's say uh, So you need a performance and she needs an arcana. That's what we need for the your crackle crackle. Yep. She's doing that on the go. Teach at camp. So that's what basically we'd be doing. And performance, yeah. Yep. Rose, don't fail me now. Boop, 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 boop. Fuck. <laughs> so, yep. I don't think that goes very well. <sighs> I'm never fucking teaching you this. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you're not far off teaching it. Quite frankly, it's just yeah, but if I roll a fucking get it. five, it's just not on your mind. You're just so focused on your, you know, attuning to your. I have a shiny um, new axe. Mm. Yeah, you you really can't be bothered teaching me. I think as well as it may, anyway. it could very well be that the fact that there is a bunch of mm -hmm. people around, you, know, you don't want to spook them. You know, yeah, people on a fucking hair. Yeah. It difficult. They're yeah. like all be on a hair trigger, and you're like, might not be the best of idea, but. I'll try and kind of sneak in a wee lesson, and I'm just, yeah, it's not really working the best. Um, but yeah, no progress made on that yet. However, if you want to start attuning to the axe... Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, that's no worries. While he's doing that, is anyone else doing anything? It's another long rest as well, Scott, so you can get everything back on this. Thank God. Nom, 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 so nom, nom, back nom, up. nom, 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 uh, <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Where would I get on my day back then if we're doing multiple long rests? Not yet, this is only day one. Alright, oh, okay. Lay on hand, twin. So, besides him celebrating, does anyone else do anything on the first day yes. of travel? Mm. Eric, anything on day one of travel? No, just head in hands. Cool. Arya, anything beyond learning Infernal? Or trying to? No, not really. Um, I'd probably be looking into what's his face with the detect poison thing. That's probably the only thing I'll be doing, trying to see if I could help him. I also have herbalism kit myself, but I'm thinking if I use the detect poison first, I'll know exactly what kind of poison is, and maybe be able to help him a bit more. 
Sure, yeah. Do you want to try that now? Do you want to cast that now? or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, you can do that. One moment. Kitty, anything on day one? No. Just looking around, making sure no one creeps out from the shadows. Yeah. Don't fucking lie, you've got your eye on all the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be checking the paladin, end of each day. Yeah, so do you want to do another medicine check for me as well? Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's see. Nicely done. Do I need to roll something for it? Or? Let's see. For the duration, can sense the presence of locations of poisons, poisonous creatures, within 30 feet, also kind of poison, poisonous creature disease, in case, penetrate, barrier, blocked, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so I think it just happens, right? Yeah, no, it just happens. Yeah, you detect nothing. So it's not poison or disease. Nope. But yet he's dying. I mean. Shit, I should have also taken the tech magic! Eh. Uh, Reach, you look over and, like, yeah, it's definitely getting worse. Um, his skin's, like, parts of it are becoming pale, but you can't tell if it's, like, blood loss or if it's, um, like, becoming, like, kind of more see through. And also, parts of it are going, like, as if they're bruised as well. Like, there, it seems like um, two different things seem to be happening to this guy. Or it's the same thing, but you're not sure, right? Because you've never seen this effect on someone before. But it definitely looks like whatever is happening is happening more. Um, if another day passes... Nope, uh, it has not. Could I... Okay. Yep, so back to Crumbar then, if that's the case, unless Reach is doing anything with this new information on day one. Wouldn't mind trying more herbalism on him, see if anything. I really just want to try it and keep him alive till we get back. Yeah, I roll survival to see if you can get stuff for it. Can I help him in any way? Uh, probably, yeah. You probably get time to do that, yeah. So you can roll again. Yep, much better. Um, so with, with with your druid's help, you find the right stuff. Yeah. Maybe it's stuff that she's saying, no, this would have helped with poisons. This isn't a poison. We need something that deals with something else. Um, based on, obviously, the fact that she looked over magically and was like, nope, no poison or disease. I'm in the dark. So <laughs> do you want to roll your herbalism kit now? And we'll see what you can cop this time. This is when you're just feeding it. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so you come up with something else. You maybe think it's a bit better, but yeah. Again, this is shots in the dark, right? So, yeah. Yep. But yep, you feed this to him as well. Yep. Um, yep. Cool. Yeah. You do so. Yeah. I mean, he's getting his nourishment, right? His protein shakes. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Uh, Crumbar, I would like mm -hmm. you to do a wisdom save. Wisdom save. Yeah. This is worrying. It's fine. Oh, boom. Cool. Let me send you this. This is going to sound stupid, but I can't seem to be able to collapse these spells like I, I so that I don't have the That's fine. I'll do it in a second. Yeah. Uh, right. So I'm just going to copy and paste this to you and then I'll let you deal with all the the nonsense from it, Scott. All right. So Mhm. Mm um what I'm going to do from now on, if we get magic stuff from now on, I'm going to suggest we put it into your features list, see the red text boxes? Because now like when Callum clicks his hammer and it gives us the entire text, I don't want that yeah. anymore. I think that's ugly. So we're going to do uh, whatever it's called, like the name of it. Um, mm -hmm. So let me just type this in. But it's also my attack if I hit them with a hammer. Yeah, but I'll be just be deleting the description from there, and you'll be putting the description into the the features list. So okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just change that there. Right, and then you can adjust that by uh, yeah. It's in your inventory now, uh, but it isn't physically as an item you can click yet there's going to be a, as you can see there'll be a lot of programming yeah. to do um and i don't know how i'm doing that yet i can't see any um text about it it's because you're not looking in the right place oh crap i think i've just added stuff actually no don't do that mm. 
Right, two things I need right. to. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit that as well, so the formatting's a bit better. Yeah, I'm just gonna delete that. Let me just make sure this is a formatted so that. There, that's probably a bit better. Right. There we go. And you can decide to share that if you want. It's up to you. But that's what you get. That's what it is. So I need you to tell me what the results of the first feature are now. So first feature. So I don't mean you read out what it is. I mean read it and then tell me what you're choosing. Because mm -hmm. this happened when you tune to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he's working that out though. What's MDL yeah, doing I anything? Think it, Hold on, Scott. Is MDL doing anything else in day one, or are we kind of like skipping ahead after Scott resolves this? Skip ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Yep. Carry on, Scott. Yeah. So that would be um, just keeping it as an axe. An axe. Oh yeah. Sorry. Uh, like a great axe. Cool. Yeah. So we'll just use your great axe as a stand-in. Yeah. Cool. Obviously we can deal with chopping and changing out whatever we need to as and when mm -hmm. but yeah you can see why it's gonna be a nightmare can't you so oh yeah yep that's what it does so yeah see the i'll talk to you about it later oh, you can talk about it now the this may change but yeah. is that just as levels and health and stuff or change, i just I don't think. like how the rules work because i made this up myself so yeah. Oh, right, did you? Right, okay. Yeah, never mind. I, I generally build the items myself. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the only thing I didn't, I think, is um, Cloaker Protection and uh, the Bracers that mm. Reach has. I think those are the only things that are straight from the book. Everything else has been made up by me. Yeah, okay, I like this. I figured you would. So it's up to you. You can tell people what it does as, as players as opposed to as characters, but it's up to you. Uh, I'll leave that for later because I've actually just realised the time. Yeah. Uh, right guys, I uh, love you all, but I am going to have to jump away. Yeah. Bye. No worries. Right. Have fun. I'll catch up on the video later. It's right? okay. We'll just Bye. wrap up here. That's fine. So let us do the montage of. I don't think anything's going to really happen over the, the next like couple of days to get by. This guy's going to get worse. That's about the gist of it, really. Yeah. Could I also detect magic on him? Yeah, there is magic on him. Bad magic. And that's not telling me. Um... Yep. If you want to let me know what questions you have regarding that, you can do. But like for sure, the most sure. part, it's I'll do um, that separately. Yeah. Okay. For Maybe, the... Can you do an arcana or something and try and see if you can figure out what kind of magic or anything like that? Could try. Maybe you've seen. Some I think the tech magic should tell her that. Has uh, uh, she, uh, she sure. got the tech magic? Yeah. Yeah. The idea is, I it's. She was switching her spells be... out on the next day, if that makes sense. Oh, In and out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because she can do that as a. I'm used to just yeah, yeah. like yeah. wizards have to pick a list and then they pick what they prepare for that day. Druids get the whole list, same with clerics, and then they get to just pick what they attune to that day. Annoying, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, really it's slightly broken, but really awesome as well. Yeah, <laughs> druids are actually just the most broken class, in my opinion. But let's just skip over that for now. So, <laughs> do you want to paste in the tech magic, and we'll? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can see what we need to answer. One second, it's not bringing it back up. It's okay, just whenever you're ready. Um, yeah, as I said, it'll be quite a while of traveling. Like, probably about three weeks. It's probably about three weeks of traveling, to be honest. Trying to get everybody there and back yeah. and healthy and whatnot. Right, cool. So I can see an aura, so that's probably the aura that right, tells me about the type feet. of magic. There's fuck tons of magic around you in thirty feet, that's for sure anyway, given the party you're <laughs> with. Um any visible creature or object that bears magic and you'll learn its school of magic, if any. Uh, this spell can penetrate most barriers, blah 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 blah. So yeah. The stuff you can't see through is his armor, right? So you can't really see through that, but you can obviously see like what these exposed hands and like face and stuff. Um you can't so much tell the school of magic, um, which should therefore tell you it's not a school of magic you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, but if anything, it would be closest to transmutation. 
mm. would be the closest fit for that, but it's not normal, whatever that means. Yeah, good thing he's still wrapped up for well, Yeah, he's know, still coma mode, quite frankly, I am as well. And so. tied up. Yeah, I heard you, don't worry. <laughs> he's tied up. Um, beyond that though, yeah, like I think it's a bit of a head-scratching situation. Um, yeah. The other thing I would say though is, what is slightly overwhelming would be Eric is giving off a lot of evocation magic. Okay. Yeah, like to the point where where you open your blinds and then the sun hits your eyes and you're like, oh god, I was trying to just look to see if, you know, somebody was on the street but you weren't expecting to have to deal with blocking that out at the same time. That's when yeah. you switch on Detect Magic, that is the type of effect you get where you're kind of overwhelmed with evocation magic pouring off of him as opposed to... Yeah, he's like leaking magic everywhere, basically. Yeah. And uh, there's also a slight bit of divination magic around them as well, but that's harder to see through the waves of evocation. Sure. Yeah. Okay. But it is more like mist as opposed to pulsing, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, whereas this guy's, as I said, the closest fits transmutation magic that's coming off from. It's not great. Sure. None of the people you're with have anything that comes off them, in case you wondered as well. Yeah. I'd be like asking around if they've seen you know, that shaman lady put spells and something on him. I'll be asking the the villagers see if they've Yeah, it was taken like the only thing you really gather from that is that it was taken from the the, the pen, as it were. I am um, Yeah. Like he was dumped in unconscious into the pen when yeah. he first arrived. Then he was taken several times and dumped back in and he's never woke up so long as oh, okay. they have seen him. I am um, which kind of implies the village he was at was attacked and brought here but nobody survived right because uh -huh. okay. obviously if he went to West Deepwell then Deep Pearl sorry that's when he would have been taken from there unless he was taken sure. travelling right so so yeah you don't really get much from that so either he was taken outside of West Deep Pearl or trying to maybe protect West Deep Pearl so either they're all dead or safe right you don't know, yeah. but nobody here seems to be from West Guess we'll Pearl. find out. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be a problematic one. Yeah. But nobody has seen him conscious that is with you. As I said, you, you know he's a, a half-elf called Loren. That's it, really. That's the gist of... And he's not healing at all. It's not uh, the it's... natural rest and such. It's not helping him. No, as I said, the only thing that seems to happen is this transformation seems to be getting more intense, right? Like, as each day goes by. So, yeah. Oh God, they probably strapped a ticking bomb, bomb to our stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, taking patient zero into the city for the people as well, if we make it that far. Well, so, yeah, like, given yeah, it, like... Yeah, but that city might also have healers and magical yeah, right. type of healers, so, yeah. You can guarantee the city would definitely have something like that, right? I am... Um, yeah. However, in World War Z. Yeah. Yeah. How, <laughs> how do you want to deal with that then, right? So maybe as some more time passes, right? Because we can narratively, unless anyone wants to do anything specific, right? You can get like, you know, a couple of days outside of town, right? And this guy is looking hellish, right? Like his skin is um, weirdly faded from like white patches of like really like wet kind of liquidy skin. But a lot of the kind of areas are like his face is all white and kind of patchy and liquidy. His um, neck's all black and like kind of solid, but when you like you touch it, like it's almost like charcoaly. Um, his body is again all in a kind of charcoaly black with big patches of white liquidy bits all over him. So. Ouchie. Obviously, if you wanted to have like attempted, obviously more attempts at herbalism and shit, that could have happened, but nothing seems to have. No natural no. remedy seems to have uh, impacted them yet. So no matter how many attempts you've done, reach your herbalism kits, like. Yeah. Yeah. Did did my like act, my healing kept him alive? So I probably could try more healing on him. Less healing might be a better idea, but. Yeah. Oh, actually, I don't know. 
Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave him be, actually. You know, keep on monitoring him, but not actually do anything. Yeah, and I think a bunch of the kids over time and stuff, like, I've asked what's wrong with him, because obviously they've noticed that he's shifting, right? So, yeah. They, they're they worried. Eric, too. have you been charging your hammer? And I know it's a touchy subject, but... I haven't given it a second for that. Mm. Might be an idea, you know, to get this walking, well, time bomb to the city quicker. Um, yeah, but he might again. bring the city to us. <laughs> yeah. I look, I I look at him kind of like, you know, sorry for that, but it's kind of true, you know, kind of like... No Just offense. think of one single brick outside the Golden Order. <laughs> I am not using the hammer again. Mm. So yeah, what about Kitty? What's Kitty up to during her... Uh... power to move mountains, but we do want to use it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, do you blame him? The first mountain was where oh, he yeah. lived. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. Well, Kitty is in the middle of a train, and they just turn the lights off. Oh my! So I'm gonna have to manhandle all the doors open. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty's having her own sub adventure on a train that hasn't been invented yet, and she's like, "Wait, what? What happened to me?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a. F oh! oh. No, it wasn't me. It was a door. Sure. Oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and again. Oh my. Sake. How do they expect me to clean a train if I've got no power? Can't even see. Oh my god. I don't give a shit if they tell me off. I'm sorry, I just want me to clean it if I can't bloody see. I just want to know what Kitty's doing in the game we're in. That's all. Like, um, <laughs> just still looking around, I guess. Yeah, just keeping everything um, safe, basically. Just, yeah. Good, okay. Just watchful eye. How are, how are you feeling about this paladin who seems to be getting like black and brittle in some Quite places concerned. and uh, squidgy and Quite wet in other places? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like, do we risk actually taking him into the city because like it could contaminate the city? Yeah. That's kind of my thought process. It'd be like maybe getting him. Oh, sorry. To be honest, at the moment I'm thinking the close to the city and bring the golden order out to him. I mean, you are yeah, close to the city, like, right? Leave him so, on the outskirts. Right. Can we? Can I run ahead then and just? Oh, if you wanted to go, like, these are like I said, a couple of days away. So if you wanted to just get to the point where, like, how far away from the city do you want to keep him? Right, there's my question. Because keep in mind, yeah. you'll start to come into traffic, right? People come and go all yeah. the time from the city, so. I still see an hour or two out, not far out at all. So. Yeah, he's going to go to that point, yeah. He's going to go to that point. Like, he's, um... When you open his eyes, they're all black now. Totally black. Um, yeah. Teeth, completely black. I, yeah, the skin inside of his mouth, all, like, white and squelchy, but the lips and everything on the outside's all black. So... He's proper putrefying, isn't he? Yeah, it's, it's something, right? It's I'm definitely going to need those soon as well, by the way. It's okay. It's just... We're near the end anyway, so... So I'd like to go into the Golden Order and say we, we need to help. Tell them what's happened with the villages and the orc and about this paladin who's had some kind of magic placed on him. It's slowly, it appears to be slowly killing them or changing them. Mm -hmm. So you run ahead, go grab them. And then I think they'll start to head out. So I think, yeah, like maybe we just have a... Maybe we'll have that scene next time then. So we'll have the shot of you saying, right, wait here. I'll go get help. And then you head off into the, the city. And we'll have it as that shot, and then we can deal with the... the, the ramifications. I want to mm -hmm. go into the city as well. I don't want to wait. Right, so you're heading with Eric... Eh, sorry, with Reach. Sorry. Yeah. Right, cool, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Do you want to meet me? I yeah, can't. That's okay. So yeah, with that, we have them two heading into the city. We do the fade out to the credits there, and we'll do our reviews and goals and all that nonsense now. So, what are we naming the session? Is the first question. I, I guess. think we've already named it. <laughs> I would go back to Pan. I mean, yeah. Pan I feel like Pantharia. Pantharia. 
Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not how you spell it. That's totally wrong. But you get the gist of it. There we go, Pantharia. Um, I'm happy with that, Fuser. Happy with that. I am. Um, I am. Don't know. Let's yeah. unmute Kay. Kay, you happy with that too? Yeah, finally. Cool. Works whoop, for whoop. me. Yep. Perfect. All right. So we have Pantharia as the session title. That was a nice quick one. And goals. Eric. I think we're obviously going to be trying to work on that one soon, right? Work out oh, who yeah. Decana is was. I happy with that to stay as is. Oh, of course. I, right. So, Arya, your goal. I don't think you actually did that. I feel like you were the one that actually needed the help. You know? If you're still with us, Arya, that is. No, I've not achieved it yet. No. Yeah. No. You, I have. No. Okay. No. No. Yeah. You I, cannot I knew that. achieve I knew that. it. Like it's not achievable yeah. now, because oh, no. you were the one that was in need of all the help. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, it's exactly. help party prevent death via hovering house. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, in my head I still had the infernal goal no, in no. my head. No, no. That's still. Part of me was like, I said that's oh, still yeah. achievable. This one isn't though, right? So. Yeah, this one goes away and our, dies a, a death. Yeah. But look, like, had you not went down, maybe you could have helped other people, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. But that one wasn't achievable. Uh, Crumbar has found out more information about the Red Roll Band, that's still in progress. Uh, Kitty didn't have a goal yet, so we'll get you a goal for next time, right Kitty? We'll make sure that happens. And reach yours to still get word to GGW about Gil. Right Tio? Yes, right. Goals were nice and done. Uh, At this point when reach, is, uh, reach finally does his goal, it'll be... Uh... Ah, oh, about a year ago, Gil, uh, Gil was in the abyss on his own. <laughs> I think we're about four months now, maybe five months. Uh, yeah. But that's fine. Um, it's still need to know. <laughs> yeah, right, it's still important. Um, yes. 100%. I, on that note, let us review from Eric. Do I start us off? Oh, that was a an upsetting session for Eric. Yeah. I mean, there's a small slither of hope, though, right? Because nobody was found in the house. Yes, but where are they? They could be even worse. If they were dead, at least you knew they wouldn't be in trouble. They um, could still be in trouble. I'm pretty sure there's not 30 feet up in the air anymore. Oh. Yeah, there's that, right? <laughs> so, They're so possibly not floating. Um, yeah, right. Mm, it's a curiosity. I... Uh, I don't know, it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see the hunt for Decana, I guess, really, from Eric. And uh, it's going to be interesting, I think. Definitely. It's going to be interesting to see how you reconcile your hammer as well. Possibly yes. the party's greatest asset slash most risky. Right? So, mm, and whatever Crumbar's got from his chieftain, his former chieftain. Yeah. Mm. Be interesting. Anything else you want to add? Uh, I guess when it rains, it pours for poor Eric. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, uh, it's fine. It's it's the rain it's coming with down. water, right? <laughs> yeah, that's now the rain with water. <laughs> <laughs> the new rainwood. Um, what about yourself, Arya? Well, this session has been quite interesting. He didn't die. That was good. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I came very, very close. I did not like that. Mm. <laughs> All I needed was to roll one on a death save, and that would have yeah, been really right. fun. <laughs> it's always bo um, bad when your healer's dead, and you're like, "Oh, that's the that's our uh -huh. hope." <laughs> uh huh. And um. Finally, shape shifted. And part of me didn't realize, like, <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, right? I probably could have shape shifted in response to uh -huh. the house yep. and just like had something with big speed like I don't know like a bird or a Is horse it? or whatever and then just tried to bugger the fuck off yep. because then when the house fell on me I would have reverted to human anyway yep. but yeah I, I did not think too okay. well but hey you you make these sort of decisions and then yeah. you realize you could have done something better and you learn so but you, you, know, know, it's you know for next time right if a house ever falls and you turn into something else first <laughs> Because next time it might be like, I don't know, become a horse, like barge into Crumbar and try and take Crumbar with you, right? Like, 
maybe that'll work next time. We don't know. We live and learn. And you get to live, which is the main part. So all hail our mistress of the flame. Right? Whoop whoop. Hey. <laughs> Kitty, are you able to do a review now, or are you still mid everything? I think we'll come back to Kitty. Reach. Oh no, wait. Mm. We've got Kitty. Yeah, I'm back. I'll come back. <sighs> yes. So I don't know if you heard me earlier, but I said we'll need a goal from you at some point through for next um, time as well. But we'll deal with that next time. Yeah. So you've got one slotted, and review now. So you're we're on you. Um. I've quite liked how everyone's done decent roles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Like, um. <laughs> you didn't die. That's decent. So. Yup. <laughs> yup. Yep. Um. So yeah, no, I think it's been nice that when the dice gods allow us to progress, right? Um. Sometimes picking up the pieces sessions are quite important to the overall. What the hell are we actually involved in, right? Kind of reflections. So, yeah, always fun. And else you want to add? Uh, hello. Hello. Yep. Oh, okay. I thought it cut out then. No, no I'm, I'm good. I think. Just very pleased you're able to attend with us remotely. Um, yes, yeah, it was, was good. Well, I don't think I would do this again because yeah. I've really been putting off doing the yeah. actual work duties and no, that's okay it was good to have you yeah. yeah it was good to have you all <laughs> um surprisingly better than I thought it would turn out to be which is good but maybe that is mm. there in the part of the problem you just mentioned <laughs> uh thank you uh reach nice hey. to have you back <laughs> yeah I didn't die it was nice to not have a house land in my head mm -hmm. yep <laughs> That's, uh, might have been different had you made it last time as well because that might have been yeah. you over investigating the lightning bolt and might then the house so been being absent has its benefits sometimes it yep has, yeah, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, uh, no just to be a bit worried about the the zombie we've brought back to the city that's all that's yeah but other than that everything's going well uh, I mean, as well as it can be, right, after that. Yeah, yeah, definitely as well as it can be. And we'll pick up from the Glitterhagen recovery effort next time, I think. That's definitely yeah. what we'll do. Uh, as I said, guys, keep in mind, we'll think about goals that can be achieved in the short term as long as the, as much as the long term as well. Um, if people want to ever talk about goals out with our session time, you can let me know. And we can try and come up with stuff that, you know, maybe is important to your characters or at least achievable to start raking in more XP. Uh, beyond that, thanks for playing every day. It was a lot of fun. We'll catch up with Scott in the future. And yeah, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.